The gallery element displays multiple overlay elements within a grid. Just like an overlay, each gallery item has an image field or an alternative video field, three text fields title, media and content, link with its text field, as well as an optional hover image field. Additionally, there is also a text field. This is used to filter gallery items. Here you can enter a comma-separated list of tags. Now let's go over the gallery element settings. The gallery element has options to set the number of columns for each breakpoint. For example, on the phone portrait mode, the gallery should only have one column. But on the phone landscape mode, it should have two columns. The same applies to the tablet portrait mode. But from the landscape mode and higher, it should have four columns again. Alternatively, instead of setting the column width for each breakpoint, you can expand the columns to the width of their items, filling the rows accordingly. Additionally, set the size of the column and row gaps between gallery items. For example, let's set the column gap to none. And optionally, if there is a column gap, you can show a divider between them. Sometimes the last row does not have enough columns. That's why there is an option to center columns horizontally. If gallery items have different heights, they can be centered vertically. The gallery element also has an option to enable the masonry layout. This creates a gap-free layout if the gallery items have different heights. So here the second row jumps up to fill the remaining space. Additionally, you can enable the parallax effect to move single gallery columns at different speeds while scrolling. To filter the gallery items by tags added in the content tab of each item enable the filter navigation. Additionally, define the animation that will be applied to the content items when filtering between them. For example, in my case, I have a slide animation. And you can also select a style for the filter navigation. Here I have a SAPNAV style. And of course, position it in regards to the content. So the navigation can be positioned at the top, left or right. There is an option to open the gallery item links in a lightbox gallery. This could be an image, video or YouTube or Vimeo link. Any other link will be opened in an iframe. Of course, you can set the width and height for the lightbox gallery as well. Additionally, the title and content can be shown in the lightbox caption. By default, all images are resized and cropped using the same width and height value, no matter if they are in portrait or landscape mode. To mix both portrait and landscape images, enable mixed image orientation. Width and height will be flipped accordingly. Of course, the gallery element has much more other settings. But since the gallery element displays multiple overlays, their settings are explained in the overlay element documentation. And options for the different content fields are very similar across all elements. They are described in the corresponding image, 
headline, text, and button elements. 